All right, another example with profile talents will be on this fuel line bracket assembly. And the part we're gonna focus on first is this fuel line bracket. So here we have a jet engine that's in gray and it's round and they have to run these yellow fuel lines around. So they have this bracket that attaches with a hole here and a slot over here. And it has to clear this engine housing and right here, this is where it's most critical. The outside is not as critical and hopefully this clip will be mounting into these two holes over here. All right, so what would we pick as the datum features on this part? I think the back face is gonna be A on this one because that's how it sets the attitude when it gets screwed in. And then remember I told you this one was a hole and this one was a slot. So that's a really good candidate for B for the hole and then C for the slot. And that's what I've done here. So back face is A, nice flatness talents on there. Now if this hole is B, that's gonna set the origin of the coordinate system. Now we still need to clock it, orient it, and so we have C as this width of the slot here. So our datum reference frame is going to be aligned like this through the part. Now that direction, notice how that datum reference frame is a hard thing to dimension off of. How do you dimension off a datum reference frame is that at a funky angle like this? So we do have a basic dimension specified here. All these dimensions are basic, 37.235 degrees. That's what we call our rotational offset. So to get to our dimensioning coordinate system, we just have to rotate that 37.235 degrees and that will bring us back to the dimensioning coordinate system. We don't want to dimension off something that's awkward like this, but that's definitely how the part mounts. So we align to that as your coordinate system and then you just tell the CMM, CMM, rotate exactly that basic dimension, 37.235, and now it's ready to measure anything in that direction after it's rotated that theoretical offset. And then I've used ordinate dimensioning. I love ordinate dimensioning on more complicated parts. This is the eight millimeters away. This is 33 millimeters away. This is 38 millimeters away. This is 20 millimeters away, you know, in the X and Y direction here without having to have all the lines come through and make it really busy for the arrowheads for dimensioning everything. So ordinate dimensioning and geometric tolerancing work really well together. Now, what was important was the profile tolerance between points X and Y. So here's point Y. Here's point X, and look how the profile talents would go right here. And this was that critical surface that we have to clear. Not too close and not too far away. That arrow really specifying the side of X to Y we care about. And then the back side is less important. So we have a profile one millimeter there. So that'd be a half millimeter on this side of the line. And then a half millimeter on this side of the line. I got a little carried away with that profile zone, I think. But I think you get the idea there. And then these holes over here, they're spec'd out two times, 5.5 plus or minus 0.1 by 11 plus or minus 0.2, and those have a position of 0.4 at MMC. So the big concepts that we do is set up your datum reference frame, we profile the critical surfaces, and we also profile the non-critical surfaces. We just give smaller tolerances for the things we care about and bigger tolerances for the things we don't care about. And then we use position tolerance for controlling holes and slots and features of size. Now right now, look how we're dimensioning everything, and we have some problems with these dimensions because of the offset and things like that. Another approach is to use model-based definition. Let the CAD model be the basic dimensions. So dimensions don't matter. They're all just the theoretical basic defining true position and true profile. So now it's more direct. You profile within point two, and it directly correlates to this set of surfaces and a profile of one millimeter would directly associate to these surfaces all the way around like this. Well, to see if all of this makes sense, I'd like you to calculate a couple of min and max distances. So this is in workshop exercise 11.3 on page 1119 in the book. And I just ask you a couple of min max distances across here and also ask you across here, what would be those min max distances here? So I'd like you to try and calculate those. Maybe pause the video here and then see if that makes sense to you when I go through these answers. Okay, let's see what you got for the minimum distance here. So we have an R5 radius, and that radius would be across those there, so that would be R5, so across there would be a 10 millimeter distance. But what makes that distance smaller? It would be half of this profile taunts, minus 0.1. And then what makes this come in closer. This one came in 0.1, so this other one can come in the other profile taunts of half a millimeter.
So that would be a 9.4 minimum distance. So what is it supposed to do? And then just subtract half your profile on one side and half the profile on the other side. Okay, minimum distance across here. So calculate that if you haven't already. Pause here for a minute. Okay, so I found the distance between those two holes is 24. So then you just add an R5 radius to the top and also that R5 radius on the bottom. Everybody should get a 34 basic dimension. That's what ideally the CAD should say. Now we just think, how much can the bottom go up? Well, that would be half of the profile taunts. And how much can the top come down? That would be also half of the one millimeter profile taunts. Because of this profile taunts continuing between points X and Y, and point X happens right here around the corner, that would still be the point 0.5. So that would be a 33 minimum distance. Well, we'll have some more opportunity to calculate those min-max distances on some other examples, but I think it helps as we go through a couple of examples, see if you understand those limits, and that helps you understand if you understand profile taunts or not.